Today we're talking about affordable GMTs. We're gonna talk about my five top affordable GMTs. Over the past two years, the affordable GMT has really come into its own light. A few movements have hit the market that have made affordable GMTs available to the masses. So today we're gonna to take a look at five watches that I think are great value for an affordable GMT. So let's flip the camera and take a look at my five choices. So as I mentioned in the intro, I have five choices, but there are definitely more than this. And I'll actually name some other watches through this video that I think are also really great options for an affordable GMT. Really, we're gonna heavily focus on movements here as well, because it's really the movement that makes the difference for a lot of these watches. And over the past two years, these movements have come in and made the affordable GMT available. So my first choice here is a pretty obvious choice. It is the Seiko 5 Sports GMT, the SSK models. These are three watches that came out last year, powered by the 4R34 movement, or the NH34, as it's better known on the street. These are great watches under $500. Now you can get these for around $400 on the secondary market. They're automatic. They look great. They look like a dive watch, but they are not a dive watch. You're only getting 100 meters of water resistance, which is not bad. It is in the 5KX case, which looks like an SKX. A lot of people complain about that. No sapphire crystal on these. You don't get a sapphire bezel. Both of those are hard legs. And of course you get a kind of flimsy bracelet. It is a Jubilee style, which I love. There are a lot of complaints that you could make about this watch but it is a Seiko, it's reliable. If you could look past its problems, it's really the movement that is the focus here. And there are plenty of other brands, micro brands using this NH movement, the NH34. So if you don't like the fact that this doesn't come with Sapphire, there's going to be plenty of watches out there that are using this exact movement that will have all of the specs that you really want. Next on the list is a lesser known brand, definitely lesser known than the other brands on this list. It is Jack Mason and the Strato Timer. Now this is a watch that is powered by the new Miyota 9000 series GMT movement, the 9075. It's a really good looking watch and it's one of the first brands to actually use this movement. It's really the movement that's the star here because you're getting a Traveler's GMT at a price under $1,000. It has all the other specs, 200 meters of water resistance. You're getting Sapphire Crystal, Sapphire Bezel. It's a really great looking watch, but it's really the movement that's the star here. I'm gonna see this movement in a lot of other watches coming soon, and hopefully citizens start using it in their own watches as well as Bulova. But we'll see how that goes in the near future. This watch is under $1,000 and you're getting a very well-made watch. Obviously the only cons here is that it's not a name brand. They do make very high quality watches and I definitely recommend this watch if you're in the market for an affordable Traveler's GMT. Next on the list is a watch that I have spoken about here on my channel dozens of times. However, they have finally released this in a 40 millimeter version. I actually own that version and they will be coming out with smaller versions in the near future. Of course, I'm talking about the Mito Ocean Star GMT. They make this in a 44 millimeter version. I have featured that watch on my channel many, many times. It's powered by the Powermatic 80 GMT movement. You're getting 80 hours of power reserve. You're getting a traveler's function again. That means you're getting the local hour hand that skips when you are changing the GMT time. All of the Mito Ocean Star GMTs are based on dive watches. So these get a dive watch case. You're getting 200 meters of water resistance, ceramic bezels, really good looking watches for a great price. Usually on the secondary market for the 44 millimeter versions, you can get those for around $700. The Mito Ocean Star Tribute in 40 millimeters, currently only available through Hodinkee, is around $1,300 but it's expected for Mito to release a full production version in 40 millimeters pretty soon, and it will feature, of course, that Powermatic 80 GMT movement, making this a 40 millimeter Traveler's GMT or a true GMT, depending on what you wanna call it, at around $1,000, it'll be Swiss made with 200 meters of water resistance. This is going to be a really great watch. I'm really excited to see it when it comes out. Next on the list is the most affordable watch on this list. It is a Timex, it's the Q Timex GMT. This was a watch that came out last year. It's a GMT, they put a couple of different colors, I think only two colors is what they made it with, a black version and a red and blue sort of a Pepsi setup. You're getting a Swiss quartz movement inside this watch and it works just like an edit movement. That means it's the GMT hand that skips when you're changing the time. However, this watch is around $220. 
It comes on a bracelet that I don't love. I used to like the bracelet from the Q Timex lineup. The new bracelet that they're using, I'm not very fond of. However, it's the case and the look of this watch. I think it's a great looking watch at around 38 millimeters. It's thin, you have an acrylic crystal. There's lots to like about this watch, including the bi-directional bezel. And of course, around $220, you really cannot go wrong with this watch. Definitely a good looking GMT, functional GMT for around $220. Next on the list, and definitely not last, because there are a few other watches that I want to mention here, one from a specific brand, and we'll get to that at the end of the video. There is Christopher Ward. I'm talking about the Christopher Ward C63 Sealander. However, they make a bunch of GMTs that are all amazing and really well made. If you're in the market for something with really good build quality, really good finish, at a very good, honestly very good price, you always need to check out Christopher Ward because they make some phenomenal watches at really good prices. And of course, they are powered by Salita Movement, so you're getting an SW330 in these watches, so they're thinner. These are around 12 millimeters thick. For a GMT that's automatic with about 150 meters of water resistance, you really cannot go wrong with Christopher Ward. Christopher Ward make watches that are way better than their price point, and you're getting micro adjust that's on the fly, sapphire crystals, display case backs, really good water resistance, excellent straps, and their light catcher case, I have to say, is one of the best in the business for the price, hands down, you really cannot beat it. I love Christopher Ward, and the C63 Sealander is just one of the watches that I'm mentioning here. They make a bunch of other watches that are GMTs that definitely should get a look from you guys if you are interested in an affordable GMT for around $1,000 and under. I also have some honorable mentions that I wanted to just bring up here at the end of the video. One of those is the Spearfish from Zelos. It's a watch that I did not have on my channel. However, I own a Spearfish. I do not own the GMT version, I own the Diver version. They're using the SW330 as well. So you're getting a thin automatic GMT in the Spearfish case. The Spearfish is one of the best looking Zelos that they make. And of course, Zelos, high quality watches. They keep on improving their watches and making them better with every iteration. The Spearfish is an amazing watch that I think has great wearability and really great looks. And at under $1,000, the Spearfish is a really good value with the Salita SW330. And of course, they do a great job with Loom, which you guys know I love. The last honorable mention that I want to make here is not really an obvious one, and I've brought this up many times on my channel in the past. I'm talking about Seiko Kinetic GMTs. Now, Kinetic movements are essentially quartz movements that are powered by a rotor. So when you're moving your watch, much like an automatic watch, it powers the movement and you have a cell inside that movement that stores that power and you get reserves up to a month, which are great. Their GMT movements, Seiko Kinetic GMT movements, are Traveler's GMT movements. So that means you're getting really desirable functionality at a very good price. Usually these GMTs on eBay sell for around $200 to $400 and they have made so many different iterations of them, you can almost get any style that you want. They make them in a dress form, a diver form, it doesn't really matter, they have everything. Really cool watches for very, very good prices. I've actually done a review of one here on my channel. I'll throw up a link to that video. I think the watch that I featured here on my channel, I paid around $175 for. That was used, it was in excellent condition. That is a really good price for a Traveler's GMT. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below about all the choices that I made in this video, including the honorable mentions that I just spoke about. I know there are a lot of other watches out there that I could have included on this list. However, this is just a really brief, short five watches that I wanted to show you guys. Really focusing on the movements because I think the movements are really important here. Anyway guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon if you click those links and buy anything. It helps support the channel, it doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.